In this video, I'm going to be teaching you the easiest and best ways to get gilded and forged camos on all of your ARs. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you the easiest way to level up your weapons, easiest way to do the base camo challenges, and the completionist camo challenges, the best modes to do, and the classes I used to even get these camos. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Okay. <clears throat> To start off, uh, before we even start camo challenges, we need, we need to first level up the weapons. Anyways, to do this, um, I recommend doing modes like 24/7 modes, basically. So like Rust Mint 24/7, Rust 24/7, Me 24/7, or just Shipment 24/7. So the current mode right now is uh, Rust 24/7. Uh, so you're gonna be wanting to do that mode. Uh, also, you're going to be wanting to run the quick grenades with engineer vest. We'll get more into that in in a minute. But um the perks I'm using are well, the perks I usually used was demolition vest, engineer vest. Strongly uh recommend engineer vest so you can have uh it says two times decoy grenades, but you actually get three. So each time you spawn on like rust or shipment 24/7, you can just um, th chuck those around just so you can get some extra weapon XP. Um, demolition vest uh, also recharges both your lethal and tactical, so that's probably the only reason I recommend this. Um, <clears throat> uh, for the next, next we have uh, gloves. Uh, I recommend assault or scavenger gloves. Scavenger gloves. Uh, lets you pick ammo and throwing knives off of dead players. So if you're someone that's a lot like really aggressive and uses a lot of ammo, then you're gonna be wanting to use this. Then assault gloves while jumping. So if you're someone that goes for jump shots like me, your aim is basically improved. Basically. <clears throat> uh, for the boots, you're gonna be wanting to use covert sneakers or tactical pads. Um. Reason you're going to want to use covert sneakers are because it eliminates your footsteps completely, I'm pretty sure. And then your uh, t and then tactical pads. Uh, we'll get more into later, but basically it increases slide time. So if you're someone that slide cancels a lot and like like gets a lot of l low like slide kills, if that makes sense, this is gonna be good because this improves your aim while sliding and uh, speed increases while you're crouched. Uh, for the gear, I recommend uh, Ghost TV Camo because while moving, it'll block. Uh, you won't be detected by UAVs, portable radars, any radar source, source basically, and heartbeat sensor. Either that or uh, you can use bone conduction, which uh, helps with like sound, sounds and stuff. Anyways, uh, back back to the mode saying, if you don't want to use or pl sorry, play like modes like Rust 24/7 or Shipment 24/7, and just want to do quick play, just make sure to filter all the modes out except um, Hardpoint, Kill Confirmed, and Domination. Kill Confirmed lets you get more weapon XP. Hardpoint, uh, well, you basically know where everyone is, and you can get a lot of head glitches and a lot of easy kills on the hard point so you can get a lot of kills in here you can also do tdm i don't do it but yeah and then domination you have unlimited time until one of the t neither your team or your team or uh the other team gets to 200 so basically if you're in a bot lobby and everyone's bad just get kills with the other weapon or a or sorry that you were grinding <clears throat> uh anyways you can also do hardcore quick play and filter out all the modes except, well, domination, kill confirmed, hard point, and if you want, uh, rust 24-7, which is currently on. Anyways, um, moving on to classes, or just, uh, basic camo challenges. Each AR has, the uh, same camo challenges, um, base camo challenges. First one, uh, get 50 kills with just the AR. You have to be level 2 to do it, so... Well, no matter what level two, but yeah. Uh, then for the second challenge, you're going to need to be, well, it depends on the AR, but usually ranging from like level 10 to 13, 14, something like that. Um, for the second challenge, you're gonna just need to get 50 kills while ADS. Uh, for 
the third challenge, you're gonna need to get 15 headshot kills, I'm pretty sure. Let me look at that, actually. And then for the final challenge, you're going to need to get uh, 25 kill kills while in tactical stance. Yeah, 15 headshot kills. Okay. So, these two, uh, the basically the two first challenges should be uh, easy. You know, just, like, like no matter what, when you start, uh, like, trying to grind camo challenges for AR, just worry about leveling it up. So, like, try out, like, just get it to max level, then actually start worrying about the challenges you haven't completed. Because you're likely going to complete at least the first three challenges by the time the AR is at max level. Likely. So, the, the only challenge you really need to focus on uh, is this challenge, Tactical Stance Challenge, which should be easy. Shouldn't take that long. <clears throat> Anyways, um, uh, for the gilded gilded challenges, you're going to need to get three kills with one mag. And basically, when I show you the classes later, uh, you're going there's gonna be a lot of like 40 to 60 round mags. I recommend 40 after you're done with the, that challenge, because if you're someone that uses 60 round mags for the challenge, just go back to 40. I'll get more into that later. But, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm gonna actually start off with, uh, well, not start off, sorry. Start, uh, talking about classes. And the classes I use to, uh, even get these camos. And, basically, for the first class, for the SVA 545, uh, for the muzzle, I have the Shadow Strike Suppressor. For the Underbarrel, I have the pit Bruin Pivot Vertical Grip. Then, for the Magazine, 45 Round or 60 you choose demo 650 grip for the rear grip then for the stock f tack elite v3 stock and then for the forge camo challenge uh you're going to need to get 25 multi kills with the sva so this is why i recommend uh using like 60 round mag because it, it will be uh easier anyways um next weapon we have the ram 7 i'm pretty sure yes we do okay the class setup for this is for the barrel, you're going to want to use the uh, Cronin Headwind Long Barrel. Then for the Under Barrel, you're going to want to use X10 Phantom 5 Hand Stop. For the Ammunition, High Grain Rounds. For the Magazine, depending on how you play or how good you are, I'm not saying you're bad. Uh, 60 round or 40 round. I wouldn't recommend 20 round unless there's some. I, I don't know. I just don't really see anyone use small mags like this unless you're doing. Well, I don't know. Also, yeah. Okay, and then for the sock, the HVS 3.4 pen. <clears throat> uh, for the forged camo challenge, uh, you're going to need to get 10 operator kills while aiming down sights and sliding with the Ram 7. This is where the tactical pads come in from earlier. Basically, just use that and just try. Well, I I can't I can't really help with this one. Can't really give any tips except just use tactical pads and of course and of course make sure to be ADS. The reason these are good for this challenge though is because well increases. Uh, you can uh, it allows for ADS while sliding and increases slide velocity. So, anyway, there, I'm pretty sure there is a glitch. I don't know if they have fixed it with the reloaded up, update. But basically, if you're someone that had, like, had a uh, black cell, and start, actually started from the black cell page, and went to this page and got the Ram 7 blueprint and grinded the weapon with this blueprint, and have it unlock the actual weapon down here, uh, there may be a glitch for the Forge Challenge because you need to actually unlock it down here. I'm pretty sure that's just a guess maybe it was just a glitch I don't know but that's my guess anyways <clears throat> for the next weapon we have uh, the MTZ 556 the class setup for this uh, you're going to want to have MTZ clinch pro barrel uh, the muzzle a shadow strike suppressor the under barrel a ruined pivot vertical vertical grip then <laughs> Uh, for the magazine, for the gilded camo challenge at least, I'd use 50 round drum. I don't know, just to be safe. Then for the uh, rear grip, uh, Bruin TR24 assault grip. The forged camo challenge for this is get 10 kills while moving attack stance. 
which just which is easy just be behind like a head glitch and be pre-aiming a hallway while just like strafing basically behind the head glitch should be easy really like you need to get 10 kills while in attack stance while moving attack stance just make sure you're in attack stance that's the main part <clears throat> the next weapon we have is a holger uh 556 and i actually have two classes for this i'll tell you both uh this one um it's kind of good ish this is one i use for the actual camo challenge but the next class actually is kind of op it's funny because this is named op but yeah uh so for the barrel uh you're going to want to put on the creo six match for the under barrel you're going to want to put on the dr6 hand stop for the magazine i use the 40 round mag or no mag at all uh, for the stock, I use the Ignis 4F3 stock. Then for the optic, you can use Slate Reflector or Mark 3 of, like, Reflector. <coughs> and the forged camo challenge for this was get 20. But hang on. Get 25 kills with a non drill charge underbarrel with the Holger 556. Anyways, if you were confused like me on what this means, ouch. Um. Basically, uh, there's an underbarrel. I haven't unlocked it yet. It's all the way over here. Uh, right. Hang on, let me find it. Right here. So basically, this is a drill charge underbarrel, and it's basically a we weapon. Uh, anyways. <laughs> yeah, you're not. Unless you have. I don't I don't have this unlocked so maybe you don't either I don't know uh, but um what it means is just you can't use that but you have to get kills with uh, like basically these two if you have them or just another underbarrel weapon I use the Corvus master key because uh, it, it's a shotgun and this one is really really bad from what I've experienced you can use jack purifier as well I didn't use it uh, not that much at least <laughs> Anyways, um, for the second class, actually, uh, I used this class, which is kind of better. Uh, for the barrel, it's the same thing as the last one, Creo 6 mat, uh, six match. For the muzzle, I used the Purifier muzzle break. For the under barrel, uh, you're going to want to use the FTAC Tiger Grip. For the optic, you're going to want to use Slate or Mark III Reflector, either or your choice then for the stock you're going to want to use old holger 26 factory stock <clears throat> yeah okay anyways for the next weapon we have the mcw and for this uh oops uh <laughs> for the barrel you're going to want to use a 16.5 mcw cyclone long barrel for the ammunition you're going to want to use high grain rounds for the magazine you're going to want to use a 40 or 60 round bag either or um for the rear grip you're going to want to use a use the rb claw psl grip then for the optic a uh, slate or mark three reflector <clears throat> then the forged challenge for this is get three kills without dying 10 times <clears throat> excuse me if anyone here has uh, has at least got the golden camo in MW2. You may actually know that this was the golden camo challenge for, I think, each weapon. Or all, most of the weapons. Because, well, yeah. Yeah, so, if you have gotten gold camo in MW2 for the MW2 weapons, you're gonna know that this is, uh, gold, this used to be the gold challenge in MW2. MW2. So this should be easy for a lot of you. Just use a 60 round mag or a 40 round, either or. You just try going for, just, yeah. It's really easy, I, I promise you. Uh, for the next weapon, we have the DG-56. And the class setup for this is for the muzzle, you're going to want to use a shadow strike suppressor. For the under barrel, you're going to want to put on the DR-6 hand stop. For the magazine, you're going to want to put on the 40 round mag. For the rear grip, you're going to want to use a Varanus Steady Grip. Then for the optic, you're going to want to use the Slate Reflector or Mark III Reflector. <clears throat> We're back. Um, hang on. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the Forged Camo Challenge for this, you're going to 
need to get 10 kills while ADS and strafing with the DG56. Basically, you're going to just want to be behind a head glitch and just be strafing and pre-aiming like doors or hallways, basically. This should be pretty easy though. Uh, for the final weapon, the FR 5.56, this was probably the hardest Forge Camo Challenge. I can't really give any tips for it, but basically, okay, hang on, let me give you the class setup. Uh, there's probably a better one, so just look up a better one. But um, for the muzzle, you're going to want to use the Shadow Strike Suppressor. For the uh, underbarrel, you're going to want to use the DR6 Hand Stop. For the magazine, you're going to want to use the 45 round mag. For the rear grip, you're going to want to pop on the SAKation grip, I think. So you say it. And then for the object, you're going to optic. You're supposed to, uh, you're going to want to put on the slight reflector or Mark III reflector. And then for the final forged camo challenge for this weapon, uh, you're going to need to get 20 operator, so no AIs, uh, one burst skills. Now. Basically, the only tip I really have for this is just try aiming for the neck and let it recoil, like, kind of just take the weapon up so you'll get a headshot, maybe. maybe. Like, because I just, like, went in, uh, like, firing range in, uh, earlier, and, like, like, you have to get three headshots to even have it one burst, like, no matter what, like, you have to get three. No matter what. Or you could just wait until someone's low and just like third party someone and steal their kill. But this was probably the hardest challenge for me by far. But yeah, you're gonna need to really get pretty lucky for, for this one. You're going to probably want to be, I'd say within 10 meters by the looks of it. Because that seems like the uh, best range to be to even do this. But yeah, that's all I can really uh, give for that one. <clears throat> uh, anyways, that's all, really. Like, that's the tips and tricks I did for uh, grinding AR, uh, gilded and forged camos. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I hope this helped you a lot. Uh, some I use a lot of these tips in my game, even for other like sections like uh battle rifles or smgs like i am on right now actually so uh yeah uh i hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time